which body shape are you? Let's look at the two most popular body shapes and find out which one you are. Are you a pear shape or are you an hourglass shape? Hi, I'm April Golightly and I love helping women that are curvy just make the right choices about what to wear and so that they feel good about themselves. So if you guys like this type of video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. I find that there's a lot of confusion between the hourglass figure and the pear shape. And that's because most of the people cited as hourglass or pear shape are celebrities that are super thin, that are basically spending their whole lives on making their body look good. So for example, JLo is considered a pear shape and she has an amazing body. She looks fantastic and I love that for her. But she spends every single day working out and for some of us, that's just not an option. So for her, it's her genes, her genetics, also just living in the gym and basically she dances every single night, you know, in Vegas. So it's hard to compare yourself to someone that basically lives to work out and you know, that's her job and I totally get it. But the rest of us are moms or just women that in general are more curvy or just have more fat on their body. So I want to talk about women that are actual have real bodies and, you know, have a real shape. Over the past few years, I've been focusing on helping women, you know, be confident in their body, no matter what it looks like in general. So I've just been trying to do that. And so I've been putting out some videos about being an hourglass because that's what I consider myself to be. I've gotten some haters on the internet dragging me and saying that you're not an hourglass, like how dare you say you're an hourglass and how dare you give me recommendations for being an hourglass. But a lot of also my fans say we appreciate you for giving us guidance for a real hourglass rather than just these celebrity. The traditional hourglass is like Marilyn Monroe um, or that like Sir Mix-a-Lot song with the baby got back. It's like a 36, 24, 36. And at one point in my life, I was that measurement. But after children, after my daughter was born, I have gained weight and haven't been able to get off the weight, which is fine because I'm happier now than I've ever been with my body. So, and I want to convey that to all of you so that you also feel confident in wearing whatever you want and feeling like you can make choices in your closet based on, that will make you look better. Because a lot of the times, even though I was this, you know, perfect size, I definitely made bad choices in my clothing and I think I could have looked better when I was younger if I had known more about my body. Let's start by measuring your body. You should measure your body all the way around at your shoulders, right here, all the way around. You might need some help with this because it's not e that easy always to measure yourself around. So yeah, measure yourself here, measure your bust all the way around, wearing like a non-padded bra and not like a sports bra or anything. Obviously, if you don't own a non-padded bra, then don't go out and buy a bra just to measure yourself. Do your best. So measure here, and then measure at the smallest part of your waist. And you can figure out the smallest part of your waist by doing kind of like a crick side. And as you crick to the side, the part that you're cricking is actually the smallest part and your natural waist. So that part is your natural waist, and then measure at the fullest part of your hips. So, and that will help you determine your body shape, hourglass versus pear shape. So an hour, a traditional hourglass shape is larger in the shoulder area, smaller in the waist area, and larger in the hip area. And traditionally, or what I would say like equal, so your shoulder measurement and your hip measurement are pretty much equal, you know, give or take like an inch, I would say. And that would be like a traditional equal hourglass figure. That means sometimes hourglasses can actually be small chested or flat chested. So for example, because you're basing the measurement on the balance between your shoulders and your hips, that means that you could be like a B and it wouldn't make a real big difference. So I would say that Sometimes people measure the bust area for this measurement for the hourglass is like the bust measurement 
versus the hip measurement. So if that's also kind of equal, that would be really considered a hourglass as well. I actually have a ton of videos on having a large bust. Like check out these videos on big having a big bust. So I've seen the people break an hourglass figure into like four different categories and kind of they kind of overlap. So the first category is a neat hourglass, meaning like a very slim hourglass. So something like when I was younger. And then I've also heard that the perfect hourglass, which is I'm calling it like the equal hourglass, meaning the shoulders and hips are exactly the same width, with the waist being exactly like 25% or more smaller than that measurement. Okay, there are two other that I definitely agree with. There are two different other types of hourglass figures, including the top hourglass and then the bottom hourglass. So you think of an hourglass and then, so basically with the top hourglass, meaning your shoulders are wider or your bust is wider, and then the bottom hourglass means that your, your bottom is wider. So based on what I've read and my understanding of hourglasses at this moment in time, I am a bottom hourglass because my measurements currently at this very, very moment is 46 at my shoulders, 48 at my bust, 37 at my waist, and 52 at my bottom. So part of it is that these measurements also include like not just sh looking straight on, but it also includes your bottom. So, and I have a large bottom. So not only do I have large hips, but I also have a large bottom and it goes out pretty far. So what I would say that 52 includes my bottom, but in general, when you look at me, that it looks more of like an hourglass. So let's talk about the pear shape and where that fits in with the bottom hourglass. So a pear shape is, has a smaller top and most of the time a smaller bust and then a small waist and then wide hips. So it kind of, it shows like a, a triangle where it kind of shows that your body is smaller on top and wider at the bottom. So the bottom hourglass and the pear shape have a lot of similarities. In general, the hourglass kind of goes like this. The pear shape would be smaller shoulders, small waist, big hips your shoulders and your small waist are kind of in line with each other. But I've also seen where the pair kind of starts at the bust area. So if you're like bust area and hip area are the same, and, or sorry, your bust area and your waist are kind of the same measurements, that, and then your hips go out. So that's kind of the, the pair, the traditional pair. So I just find that a lot of times people think that they are a pear shape and they are actually an hourglass figure because of their actual measurements. So, and especially with this, with this measurement supposed to be nine inches difference between your waist and your other measurements. In general, women that have gained weight or have had kids or are just older have a little bit more padding in their waist area, but that doesn't make them not an hourglass. You can gain information from learning about both the hourglass and the pear shape, the information for both body types to help you make better choices. For example, I recently started wearing, um, what are they called? Ruffles on my shoulders, which According to most people, ruffles are not good for an hourglass figure, but these ruffles work really well to like balance out my hips because my hips are wider. Also, depending on what I'm wearing on the bottom, for example, here I'm wearing a maxi skirt, which actually adds volume to my bottom even more than I have. So by wearing the ruffles, it kind of balances it out. So I would say that the the ruffle situation is good even though it's kind of against the rules for an hourglass. So I really wanna explore in the videos to come more about pear shape. Um, here I have some videos on 
an hourglass figure and you can learn more about your hourglass but I also want to explore the pear shape because I think we can as hourglasses can learn a lot about our bodies and maybe about style from the pear shape as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.